Simple as that, right? And that's how you stay less busy, more calm, and not as crazy. Rewind and do that fancy thing with the software that you and it rewinds, but yet I won't do that. It just snap my fingers instead. Being, uh, being someone that calls himself a fitness freak, which I am, I still have numerous days where I get up and I'm like, uh, I just don't, I'm not motivated. So I distract myself like I am right now. So I'm not starting the workout, but that's gonna change. Picture, the rough draft of the pictures already came back from the photo shoot that Alyssa and I did the other day. So I'm trying to comb through those, but I'm not really gonna have a lot of time right now. Day's going well, getting a lot of stuff done. The big week, I actually have to get the notebook out, start really getting my thoughts in order, what day, what's going on, a lot of stuff, but it's all in a good way. I hate when people say, oh, it's so busy, huh? I'm so stressed out. How do we reward that? I'm focusing on the things that are highest priority in my daily activities, something like that. If I had to give myself a score on my organization and prioritization today, it's probably about six and a half. I just think as far as the busyness goes, I think um, it's this badge of honor almost these days that to say we're busy, even though we might be running around chasing our tail, doing all kinds of things that aren't really that terribly important. But if we're busy, then that means we're doing something. I don't necessarily agree on that. Well, actually I don't, but I try to be very aware of that in my own life and making sure that I don't get so distracted with all the little things that are not important. Quite, quite the deceiving day today with the sun. It's feeling kind of nice to actually see the sun, but Heated seats are so very important. <laughs> it's actually a little bit of a decent line at the Starbucks here today. Usually it's much worse at, at lunchtime. But then again, it's my needed break in the day just to get out a little bit, even though it's cold, I do what I can. You know, the struggle is real. Hello, I'm walking to the Starbucks. What can we get started for you? Hi, I'll have a, I'll have a grande americano, please. Yeah, a grande americano. Yep. Can I grab you anything else? Let's do it. Thank you. It's gonna be three forty-nine at the one day. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. Lots more work to do today. All kinds of things I want to accomplish. Maybe even a little relaxing. But first of all, first of all, we do americano. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Little hot, little hot. I am, what's your schedule like? When in the area, blah, 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 sounds good. Let me know as it comes together. We'll figure out something. It will be fun to get some content. Little possible collab coming up, maybe the Friday. So what is it, Tuesday, a couple days get out and get some craziness, get outside of the house, maybe into some sunlight or some other people. Yeah, that's well over, it's overdue, it's needed, it's gonna happen. Sweet potatoes, cut them up in small little pieces, probably about 25-ish minutes on 350, that's what I was doing. There it is, self-audit. Think right now, throughout your day, stop what you're doing. How many times have you told yourself, oh, I'm so busy, I'm so stressed out. Words are very important. Be very careful on if you're using the negative connotation or something a little bit more positive, it makes a huge difference. All 
All right, Alyssa. There's Alyssa and there's Erica. We're in a hurry. Going to volleyball tryouts tonight for the club team. I'm in a wonderful dungeon studio, but I was going to leave the busyness thing alone, but I had this thought and this training I'm doing, this consultancy training, covers the time matrix quadrant and time wasters and all that sort of thing. And I feel like I need to diagram this real quick to emphasize the point of when you're busy and you're feeling stressed out and just exhausted, you're probably living in the wrong priority uh, square, basically. So what it is, is, well, you need a marker that works. And yes, hold on here. There. We don't have a uniform for the vlog. It's not required, but in all these vlogs in the last several days, I have the same shirt on and the same vest. All right, just, just there we go. The four, four quadrants, I'm gonna do this really quickly. There's one, two, three, four. And let's bring this a little bit closer so we can see exactly what that is. Over in one we have, I'm gonna mark U for urgent, high for important. Quadrant two we have urgent, but not important. Quadrant three we have important, but not urgent. And then number four, we have not important, not urgent. These are the time suckers right here. Netflix, internet surfing, Facebook, mindless surfing and everything just to get ourselves out to relax, that sort of thing when we're so burnt out by being in all these stressed out, urgent, important, it has to be done right now. The big goal is to stay into quadrant two as much as possible. Turn number one into two by scheduling things and being proactive. If you stay in quadrant one all the time, you're gonna get burnt out and then you end up down over here. If you're in one, three, and four, they call this the Bermuda Triangle, where you just go from urgent and important to not important to back, just go back and forth and you sit over here to try to regroup and collect your thoughts and just unplug and then everything that you could be proactive about becomes number one and urgent and important again. The Bermuda Triangle. Stay away. Focus on number two. I have to take a minute just to clarify that, but stay away from the Bermuda Triangle. Focus on quadrant number two and don't feel so proud to say you're busy you could still be busy in a more proactive and a healthy and a balanced and an energetic way by focusing on the right areas of your life, saying no to things that don't really matter to you and that are not matching your highest values. My two cents. Every single day we should learn something. And if we run into a roadblock, how do we look at that? Is, is it something that is leading us to a better path if we go through it and then we see the other side or we're just going to retreat and go another way. I could go off on a big tangent, but with that, that's the end of this vlog. And then until tomorrow, remember to subscribe and follow along and I'll see you guys tomorrow.